Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be quite interesting because I have a brand new gaming product to show you all. So since the past few days I've been seeing that some of you guys have been commenting in my recent videos asking me to make a video on a budget Bluetooth gamepad for smartphones. And if you're also looking for the same, well, you came to the right video. So today in this video, I have a very affordable Bluetooth gamepad from Amket guys. And the model is called as Evo Gamepad Pro 4. So this gamepad is compatible with both Android phones as well as iPhone. So it works on both platforms and is quite affordable. And not only that, it comes with some really good features like it's got lots of buttons on it. All of them are customizable and also works with games like PUBG, Call of Duty and much more. So in this video, we'll quickly unbox it and give my review on the product. Let's get started. So Amkit's Evo Gamepad Pro 4 comes in this sort of box packaging. It's a very budget-friendly wireless gamepad made for smartphones. We've got the Amkit branding, model of the product here, and it's compatible with both Android as well as iPhones. So that's a good thing that it works with most of the phones out there. Talking about the features, this gamepad offers two modes. You can use it either in native HID mode or in the instant play mode. That is a very interesting feature which lets you play games even like PUBG, Call of Duty and much more which I'll talk about at a later part in the video. And talking about the other highlights, the gamepad comes with extra back buttons L3 and R3, supports Bluetooth version 4.0 and the brand says that it offers up to 12 hours of continuous battery life. Well, we'll have to see about that. First, let's get started with the unboxing. So these are all the stuff we got in the box. You get some paperwork which includes a quick start guide with all the info on how to pair the controller with your phone. So make sure to read that. A micro USB cable for charging. And lastly, here's the controller. Comes nicely packed like this on a tray. Let me give you all a closer look and show you how this thing looks like. So Amkit's Evo Gamepad Pro 4 is a wireless Bluetooth gamepad made for smartphones. From my first impressions, not bad guys, I have to say the gamepad looks of decent quality and also not that heavy, pretty lightweight in the hand. We've got the Amcad branding on the front and features a lot of customizable buttons. The gamepad features an ergonomic design to offer you a good grip while playing and I also like these orange accents they've used here and there on the controller. It's got two analog sticks positioned just as an Xbox controller and have a really smooth movement. And yes, they're also clickable. Talking about the other buttons, there's a D-pad on the left, X, Y, A, B buttons on the right. Buttons do feel tactile and clicky, offer a good feedback. And has four buttons at the center. Start, Clear, Select and Turbo. And just above them, you've got some LED indicators which indicate the current mode of the gamepad and a power indicator on the right. What I like about the design is, even though it's a budget-friendly gamepad, they've provided a textured pattern on the body to offer you a good grip while playing. It's not a rubberized grip, the whole body is made of a polycarbonate material. It's just a textured pattern. So going to the top side, we've got four buttons over here, the left and right bumpers and the left and right triggers. The quality is good, offers decent feedback. You can customize all these buttons and set them to whatever you like while playing games like PUBG, Call of Duty and other similar games. And this is how it looks from the backside. You've just got a reset button, some info regarding the product and two more customizable buttons at the back. Oh my god, this thing has almost 20 to 21 buttons on it. That is freaking awesome for the price. And if you're thinking that's about it, well, we're not done yet. The Evo Pro 4 features a built-in smartphone holder. Now this is very handy, you can just put your phone in there and conveniently play all your games. It's got two angle adjustments and can be easily extended like this to fit in almost any size smartphone. So on the inside over here, you've got the Evo branding and a power button just above that. Well, that was our overview on the design and the build quality. Now let me tell you how to power it on and pair it with your phone. So as I've told you before, this gamepad is compatible with both Android phones as well as iPhones, right? So both these platforms have different methods of pairing. And on top of that, Android phones have two different type of pairings. The first one is called as the native HID mode and the second one is called as the instant play mode. See guys, some of the games like Asphalt series like natively support gamepads, right? For those sort of games, you need to pair the gamepad via the HID mode. You can do that simply by pressing the home plus X button for some time and then simply turn on Bluetooth on your phone and connect with the gamepad. 
and that's it you will be like ready to go and play the game but some of the games like PUBG, Mini Militia, they don't have support for game pads or controllers natively through the app, right? For this, what you have to do is you have to pair via the second mode known as instant play mode. And here's a catch over here. You need to install a third party app known as Shooting Plus V3, which is designed by these game controller guys. So you need to install that. And what you need to do over there is you need to configure and map all the buttons in the game so that, you know, the gamepad will automatically press those buttons whenever you're playing it. So here you've got some mapping and configuration to do. Uh, that is very simple. You just need to follow the manual they've provided and you can do it in no time. Once you're done with that, you'll be good to go. Uh, coming to the iPhones also, here also iPhone doesn't support natively right the game pads so you'll need to go with the instant play method where you need to download this app known as Shooting Plus V3 and then configure all the buttons and layout and then you'll be good to go with games like PUBG and all that. So that is how pairing works. Alright, so let's talk about the comfort. The game pad is lightweight and feels quite comfortable while playing. It offers a good grip and has an ergonomic design. Coming to the performance, the controller was working very well with a stable connection and minimum input delay. The quality of the analog sticks was good, it feels smooth while using and I faced no sort of dead zones anywhere and also offers a decent grip while playing. But I have to mention I was facing some accuracy and precision issues with the right analog stick especially while playing games like PUBG using the instant play mode. It was not happening always though, just rarely when I'm trying to move the in-game camera angle. But apart from that, everything else was great. All the buttons were easily accessible like the bumpers, triggers and even the back buttons. Plus the best part about them is all of them are customizable and you can map them to any function you like. On the overall I was quite satisfied with the product considering the price that you're paying for it. It works well and is compatible with a lot of phones that are powered by Exynos, Snapdragon processors and even the Kirin processors. But currently instant play mode is not supported on MediaTek powered phones, so keep that in mind. Keeping that aside, the gamepad is compatible with a huge list of games like Asphalt series, Real Racing 3, Minecraft and a lot more. I'll just leave a link to all the list of compatible games in the description box below. You can check it out from there. In the meantime, just check out this gameplay video. One more thing I'd like to mention is, the gamepad comes with two angle adjustments for the holder right. It's good when used in the first position, but in the second position, the joystick keeps falling back and might hit some buttons accidentally if you're not careful. So make sure to keep the gamepad in the first position in case you want to take a break from gaming. Now let's finally talk about the battery life. The battery life on this product was actually pretty good. On an average, I was easily getting around like 10 to 11 hours of continuous usage on a single charge. Well, that's it guys. That was my video on Amkit's wireless Bluetooth gamepad for smartphones. It's a very good gamepad on a budget. Works on all Android phones as well as iPhones in the instant play mode. Easy to configure and play. The quality is nice and is also quite comfortable while playing. The only thing I felt was the gamepad should have had support for PC as well. That would have made it like an all-in-one solution. And also the precision and accuracy of the analog sticks could have been better. It costs around like 2000 rupees right now in the market. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in my next one.